it's Kylie Batucci, Stamping Up Demonstrator in Australia here with you for a premiere, whether you're watching on Facebook or YouTube. I am not live, even though it looks like I am. Uh, we go live once a month, the first Friday of every month. Uh, but this is a premiere, which is a lot of fun because it means that you can all connect with one another. And we love that you have connected, hopefully through us, which would be a bit of fun. Um, maybe you've told some friends and family to come and check out our YouTube channel. Thank you if you have. Thank you for sharing and thank you for subscribing. Uh, today I wanted to highlight our brand new purchase, which some of you probably saw me do the unboxing of this week. If you haven't, make sure you go and check that out because... We had a lot of fun. Well, I had a lot of fun. Um, Bruno afterwards was like, did you do the unboxing? Have you already opened it? And I'm like, sorry, it was in a meeting. <laughs> so I said, I wasn't waiting for you. I wanted to <laughs> open my brand new Stampin' Cut and Emboss Machine, or the Scam, as we've been calling it around here in the Batucci household. It is now our Scam Machine. No, it can't be Scam Machine. That's like an ATM machine. It's the automatic teller machine machine no it's just the skim that's it <laughs> that's our official name <laughs> you know we love acronyms we love to shorten everything around here so the card that i'm making today is really highlighting this beautiful new machine i'm going to do some die cutting and also some embossing and just give you some tips as well as we go along and we shall see what card comes out of it right your guess is as good as mine. <laughs> I've got an idea, but who knows where that will go. <laughs> so please, if you're jumping on, by the way, say hello, where you're from. Please subscribe if you haven't been here before. Thank you to everyone that's following us. We are so, so grateful for all your support. And yeah, please leave a comment. We love to hear from you. We try and reply to every single one of your comments. So thank you for doing that. So let's have a look at this beautiful new machine. I've had to lift up my camera to a different angle to make sure that it fits nicely and that you can see everything here. So very exciting. Please check out my unboxing to see more about it. But the cool thing is that I kept mentioning on my unboxing video is that we have a set of destructions, I mean instructions. So if you get stuck, they're all here, everything that you need to do for your die cutting and for your embossing, whether it's 3D embossing or the regular. Now, one thing that we did realize is with the Sizzix um, old style of embossing folder, we know that they will slowly get phased out, uh, but you do need a different, for the 3D, you do need a different sandwich, which is the same as, number three of this one here, three and one. So, but you'll, you'll realize it as you go in and you're working out, Bruno and I went to put in a 3D embossing folder. We're like, it's not going through. It's not fitting. Okay, that's a good clue that you need to change your sandwich. So, you know, we're clever people. We work these things out eventually. <laughs> eventually, it takes a little bit, but we do get there. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm grabbing some magenta madness. I'm not a pink girl, as many of you know, but I love this in color. It is so, so retro and 80s, and I just think it's brilliant. And I'm going to be using that with a bit of basic black. Now, what I wanted to highlight today is how we can use the embossing folders, which I'm already looking, where are you embossing folder? Where are you? <laughs> I had everything organized as per usual in true Kylie fashion. The embossing folder has decided to go walk about, found it. <laughs> it was hiding underneath some cardstock over here. Hopefully I'm not the only one. Please don't be the only one that has a craft room that's chaos. Anyway, so I wanted to highlight this Meadow Moments, which actually is a new uh, die, a new embossing folder. Now, what is interesting about a few of the embossing folders is they're set up ready to go for the little mini. This is clearly not the mini because we have a lot more room, but the mini will pretty much only just fit this. So your decision is whether you go for the standard size or whether you go for the mini. But the thing with the mini is not everything is going to fit. However, 
with the standard you look at this embossing folder and you might think I'm a bit frustrated with this because it's not the full size of my card so we have realized that there's a couple of ways that you can go about this uh, firstly you could go right down the middle and just emboss either side which I actually really like this idea of embossing sorry I'm sort of off camera but yeah I like this idea of having like two edges uh, but you could also just do partial on each side and then run it through and you probably will end up with a little line um, but you could probably cover that or um, adapt it I also like it when I see people do sort of like um, as much as they possibly can of the folder and then leave this space down the side which is what I'm going to do with you today and I'll just show you also I did a prototype of so I've got those those and I actually want to take out plate number two when I'm embossing two is for die cutting so we pop those three in which is number one and then two number threes and then just run that through you can hold your handle for more stability but this is a beautiful smooth happy machine it's just so beautiful zoom, zoom. it feels beautiful i'm very very happy with it i was letting stampin up know today i was like i'm really happy with this machine so we'll open that up and have a look if you haven't done this dry embossing before it's just gorgeous look at the detail in that there and I actually really like it with this edge piece you can use either side whether you want inverted embossing or the external embossing I really like this side so I'm going to keep that one for our card today now the one thing that I did pre-do and test out was uh, doing the same thing but running it so that you didn't you just had the two edges which works really well on the Australian sized card uh, fronts um, it might be a little bit wider you might have a, a, a larger size if you're from the US because you guys have wider than us um, but I really like the look of this and I love those edges so your edge here is going to be even larger so that's just something to keep in mind when using the mini embossing folder and if you notice that there's sort of like a more of a standout I've just run my dauber with a bit of magenta madness over the top to really let that pop and and stand out more so that's a great way of utilizing embossing so that's the embossing that we're doing now I just want to cut uh, two dies and these are two dies from the amazing hippo and friends die collection which is an amazing collection of dies hippo and friends um fantastic absolutely love these dies they're so useful so many ways to use them and they do come with a stamp set that matches with it um robin card and million dollar earner came up with this one and i it's just one of my go-to die Cutting. there's a lot of beautiful die cutting sets in this catalog this year so check them out particularly these types of ones that are, are great for sentiments but you'll see here that they're great for layering as well so I'm going to pop that one in and we do need to bring back our number two plate so that it has a little bit more push need to squish it and that one there and then pop out plate number three move that one out of the way it feels so good to be using my machine on videos again it's really cool oh there is a little bit of cracking this time last time i used it there was no cracking at all so if you hear this noise do not be alarmed you have not broken your machine this is perfectly acceptable behavior <laughs> it means it's cutting <laughs> there we go so you can run it through again if you want to but it's this machine is incredible i've found that even for embossing that twice uh, once is enough 
So I've got those two cut out and that is all we need for our beautiful new skim. I like skim. Thank you, Skem. You're a good mate. I think Skem's a boy. What are you going to name your stamp and cut and emboss machine? We like naming it Skem. Thanks for your hard work. I do like to put it back with the, uh, what do you call them? Those things. <laughs> Plates. <laughs> uh, it actually helps with bowing and things like that. I don't know how these plates are going to go. They feel a lot sturdier than our previous ones. But I do like keeping it in the machine because it just flattens it and keeps it together. So, And you can keep mixing it up, changing it around. So the next thing we're going to do... Oh, we're rip crooked. I didn't stick down today. I need to make sure I use my washi that I'm begging stamping up to bring back please bring back washi I love washi I've been getting to like the end of my retired washi and it's really quite sad it's quite depressing so what I'm going to do is bring in my basic black base so the the cutting that you need to do if you have my card templates if not you'll see the link below uh, but you need for the base, the basic black base, we're going to be using the Calypso Coral base. And then the Poppy Parade is the Magenta Madness and also the insert inside our card. So that's what we're using. And what I'm going to do, I'll just fold this first and then I'll give you a little bit of an idea. It's a bit of a surprise card today. I like not showing you my card to begin with. I mean, I couldn't help it because it wasn't done. <laughs> it's in here. <laughs> it's a bit scary. Yep. <laughs> so we're going to do something like this and something like this because I thought that will really nicely offset that section that we're missing. And then like this, I think we'll raise up that whole section and see how these beautiful dies you can use as layering for one another, which I really love. Um, it just creates interest. So I'm just going to keep this. This is going to be a very simple card. But I like simple because it means that if you are new to stamping, maybe you haven't stamped before, or maybe you're finding that you're doing a lot more stamping than usual. And when we do more stamping than usual, then we need cards that we can replicate in different colours and do it in a quick way. I love those type of cards. Ones that look a little bit complicated, but in actual fact, they're not. They're my favorite type of card. So I've just done some Versamark on this stamp. In case you don't know what Versamark is, um, I've got a very well used Versamark here. Uh, but Versamark is for the embossing that we're going to be doing. So first you put down the Versamark then you come in with some embossing powder and we have lots of different embossing powders we're stamping up if you live in australia you can check out our store and see everything in there that's purchased you can purchase it online and basically what you're doing is you're putting this embossing powder on top i don't mind with this if it has a few little specks and things like that just as long as it's covered well that's all i want so embossing powder, you then, uh, we're going to heat set it and then it melts that powder and gives it the most amazing crisp white image, which is what I love about white embossing powder. Uh, we are going to use a sentiment. Now this stamp set that I've just used now, I better show you that one. Where is it? I, put, I think I put it away. That would be a first. <laughs> But it's the poppy. Oh, no, there it is. Painted poppies. <laughs> I was like, oh, I've already packed it. <laughs> Painted poppies stamp set. Uh, fantastic stamp set. It was in our previous catalogue. I'm so glad it's carried over because it's got some really cool splotching and, yeah, just a really great versatile set. And the images at the front here are shown at... 
tell you what, I'm going to have to start wearing my glasses during my life. So you will start seeing that the inside is actually a lot bigger than the front cover. And that is why it will tell you down the bottom here. It's very small, that writing. <laughs> it's highlighting my inadequacies for reading. And the other one that I'm, re I'm using is the Itty Bitty Greenies. And this is a set of two. I actually didn't realize that. Oh, that makes sense because I was pulling out the other one as well. But this is fantastic. I am addicted to collecting as many sentiments as I possibly can because I just love having lots of things that I can send and for lots of different occasions. So this one was fantastic. Uh, it just has lots of great things. Even this one, I hope you're feeling better. Yeah, really nice. I'm here for you, for you. Just a really nice size. This is a very small size, but I'm going to do this sending prayers because I just think it's a, a nice thought. We've got friends that are going through super difficult times at the moment. Um, one of our good friends, her husband um, died... Uh, he was in a nursing home. He didn't didn't um, die of COVID, but he um, yeah he just went through a really rough time, and and now she's all alone for the first time in her young life. Like she probably was in her twenties when she got married. Now she's in her eighties, and it's just devastating. It's just so difficult for her being alone. So I'm trying to keep in touch and and call her and make sure that we're, we're thinking of her. I'm just checking. I'm like, did I stamp that the right way? I really need to put my stickers on. Look, I didn't. <laughs> Sister Alma would love that. <laughs> if I send her something upside down. <laughs> you all love that. It's so typical Kylie. So let's, let's cut another one. <laughs> you all ask for longer videos. Well, this, this is how we do it. <laughs> But yes, so we feel very, very sad for, for Alma. She's just gone through a really traumatic time. Uh, we didn't even get to go to uh, John, her husband's funeral, because it was just right when COVID was taking off. And yeah, she's very, very sad. So just thinking of ones that we can send these cards to is so important right now. Like we're noticing our friends that we do send our cards to they are just so grateful and so thankful and i think one thing that stood out today when i was talking to alma was she said i i'm just so happy that you've thought of me that i'm i'm actually thought of and you, i haven't been forgotten i think that's how she said it i'm so glad i haven't been forgotten and i was like oh break your heart see how good this machine is just pull it out Cut another one. Crisis averted. Thanks, Skim. You're the best. You're the best little buddy I could ever have. So now you get to see it all again. I don't edit anything. I'm telling you, I don't have time for editing. Props to you that do editing, but I'm keeping it real around here. You get my warts and all. <laughs> you get to see the lot. <laughs> Hopefully, hopefully it makes all of you realise that we are only human, right? I'm going to actually bring this down a bit more. I can mix it up a bit now. I get to repeat the embossing process for you. So this is called heat embossing. Bring in our, and sadly Stampin' Up! don't have this tray anymore, but I just love it. But you can use any container. Oh, I'll do my sentiment now before I pour that on make sure I can see yes I can see that and I'll make sure that this is the right way I'm paying attention pay attention Kylie <laughs> put your stickers on Kylie <laughs> so what I do like to do if I'm not using my stamparatus is with the sentiments I line them up using my grid paper and that just helps me to get it in line um, so that I know when I get my block, I kind of line up my block and then I know that the sentiment is straight. So that helps me because I'm really bad at, like I end up making crooked sentiments all the time. So here we go. Let's see. Do I have it the right way? Ready? Yes. 
<laughs> but that was a bit of fun. And I actually really like that it's come over more. I like those pleasant mistakes. It's like, oh good, I can adjust how where the flowers go. Now I do like to flick to get any of the excess powder, but you want to be really careful when flicking because sometimes you can flick off some of your important embossing. So you can come in even with like I've got a little brush that I use to get off those little bits and pieces, which is always good. And then oops, I just massacred that flower we don't want that happening so I'm just going to put a little bit more back on that flower so that's the cool thing if you do end up rubbing it the Versamark's pretty amazing stuff it lets you add add a bit more in so then we'll heat set that now if you wanted to you can even wait till your heat heat tool is hot on the side and then come in and um and heat it And that will all melt. I'll just lift this so I can show you what happens. Should be able to see the difference there with the embossing is melting. Look at that crisp white. Isn't it fantastic? Okay, it's getting really hot <laughs> to put it down. <laughs> Don't burn yourself. <laughs> perfect and I love that sentiment it's so beautiful so now all we've got to do is we can layer this down now I, I like these flowers but I think they just need something a little bit extra that we can pop on there um, I was trialing a few different things <laughs> some didn't go so well some could go well but I don't have enough time to prove the theory or not so I'll, t I'll show you what I did so I did this one I'm telling you I'm giving you my warts and all tonight so this was actually embossing paste it has potential to, to be something good um, first I started doing big blobs and then I thought I'll just try painting the whole lot and that yeah that didn't really work well so I'll work on this little idea a bit more and see if I can come up with something to do with embossing paste and using that but yeah I didn't have enough time to keep testing that theory now my other one and I don't know if this is going to work or not so I will let you know and maybe I'll do another card in the future with this um, but these ones I tried and it's a bit random this could be really strange to some of you that I tried this but anyway this is how things get discovered right get to try weird and wonderful things but what I actually did and I've got to make sure that I have the right Tombo glue here oh yeah here it is what I actually did was and I'll get my silicon sheet here is I colored some of my Tombo glue so as you can see this Tombow glue now has magenta madness re in it and I thought I would test and see if this would yeah do anything spectacular it's still a bit sticky and it's probably been a good hour or so so I'll test that overnight and see what ends up happening I heat set this one and so it's looking very yeah not the nicest but I will I will test it out and see and play around with that I have once before tried it with crystal effects and colored it and it was good but again it took a long time to dry so you do need patience if you're going to do something like this so I'll let you know how that goes but my other theory or other thing that I have done in the past and I know that this works pretty well is to get some of our amazing craft ink and you can put that on your silicon mat or on a clear block. I love, I, I need to use the silicon mat more. I really do. And actually I'll put a bit more craft ink, I think. I mean, it's there's not a huge amount of flowers, but we want to have something substantial there to use. Good. And then I don't want a huge amount of magenta, but anyway, we'll put a little dot 
and then we'll go from there. You can always add more, but you can't take away. And I really like this um, idea. You can even add a little bit of water to your brush just to give it a bit more flexibility, but you don't want too much water on there. And then just give that a bit of a mix. I'm not gonna overly mix it because I do actually like to have sort of color throughout and then just come in um, and with this type of flower it is going to be pretty random and haphazard so I've just picked up some of the darker section and then you can grab some of that um, you could even have like part dark part light if you wanted to sort of have a bit of a mix um, this pen is actually a little bit wispy for me and it's causing some dramas um, but just remember that you know you'll get a beautiful vibrant color when you first put it down but as it dries it is going to get sort of um, more translucent and it will lose a lot of that exciting color that you first see so you may decide to come in again and do another layer there'd be nothing wrong with that because it doesn't take too long to dry um, and I think it's a beautiful addition to like being able to color on the black using the craft ink so grab that so I'll probably do another layer and I'll let you know how that goes because already you can start to see the color starting to fade on some of it. So you can really go to town. But again, the more that, of this ink that you put on, the, the longer it's going to take to dry and the more careful you'll need to be in terms of um, where you set it aside. It's really pretty. But I do like the fact I will need to clean that. So you can um, grab a baby wipe. That's usually a good thing to do straight away. Um, and just, just decided to stick to something over here. As you can see, I've been doing a lot of painting with magenta tonight. I was testing all sorts of things. It was actually a really fun night doing a lot of prototypes and testing. And if you don't want to waste this beautiful ink here, I probably could have started with a, a smaller amount, but I will actually keep that because I'm going to come back in. See how already it's starting to go like very, very faded. So you will need quite a few little sections that you keep redoing and just realize that it isn't going to be as vibrant as when you first put down. But it's just a beautiful way to just create interest. And even if it does become that light color, it's kind of, yeah, this beautiful um, little accent on some pretty flowers. So we'll stick that down. I'll keep that for later when I do a, another redo. But yeah, did you, did you like the embossing face? It's such a disaster. <laughs> hey, you got to try. I'm like looking at Bruno like, I want to do this. And he's like, just don't do it. And I'm like, no, you don't get me. I'm trying something new. I'm trying something to see if I can do something new. <laughs> so again, if you want to come in with a bit of sponging, feel free to do that with your dauber and just highlight some of those little accents there, which is a bit of fun and creates a bit of interest as well. But what I'll do is I'll stick this down first just because it's a little bit wet. Oh, no, that's the, that's the magenta madness Tombow glue. <laughs> oh, dear. I do love trying new things. It's a bit of fun. Put that down. And then I'm going to put that on dimensionals, but I'll stick this down first. Yeah, I'll let you know how the um, how the Tombow glue ends up drying. Beautiful. And then I'll just come in with, I think I'll use the magenta actually. Because I think that would be fun. 
come on little one you can stay there and I'll do that on the inside piece which as I mentioned was the poppy parade size so I do for the inside did I end up anyway I've got one here I have pre-cut my inside so I have a lot of them on hand it's a very handy and I'll just stamp a little section down the bottom here just so that it matches the inside of the card beautiful do that inside and I know that Alma will just love being thought of we sent her a, a frame and did some decor, like a little decoration with a card last week. But I think it's really important that we just keep those cards coming. Like, don't think just once. Just keep keep them coming. Almost like have a have a weekly list of oh, did I get ink on me? No, I didn't. I'm like, it's my beautiful Michael Kors shirt. I can't get ink on my Michael Kors shirt. Although it's good that Stampin' Up! ink is water-based. So I don't have very many good quality <laughs> tops. So I better look after them. <laughs> so I'm just adding dimensionals to this. Yeah, it's like we've got a, a list of friends that we've we've been sending cards to. And we're just going to keep doing the rounds, keep sending them to our friends and family because it's just such an important time to think about others. And we, we genuinely are happier when we think about other people and we keep these ones in mind. And I think it just helps you to just focus on what's important because we can get caught up with all sorts of crazy things, but you know, there's people that are sick and there's ones that are losing their loved ones and it just helps put everything in perspective. So, you know, if you see things online that sort of rile you up, sometimes I'm like, you know what, I've just got to think of Elma. Life isn't that bad for me. It could be genuinely a lot worse what we're going through, so... I can endure a few things, a few difficulties. Getting locked in a house with Netflix, fridge full of food, two cute little puppies, a great husband. Yeah, I think I can endure. It ain't so hard. We've even had friends that the, the family have just decided to do some cooking together and they're trying new things. This week we're doing Portuguese tarts with a friend. She's cooking with us online on Zoom. So we're keeping ourselves really busy doing some fun things and just adapting to the situation, I guess. That's probably um, getting a different mindset and looking at your situation from a different perspective so that you, you can face the next day with a better attitude and a more hope so yeah I'll probably end up coming in a couple of times but it's just so cute I really really love that as I said very simple card very simple idea um, but it's just so pretty and I know that Alma will love to receive a card like this and um, you can change out the colours, you can really mix it up. I'll just pop it on full screen so that we can see that a bit closer up. There we go. The embossing, it's so hard to see in this light. And if you see it with light, I'm ready, I become, <laughs> I disappear. <laughs> but it is gorgeous, you can trust me. <laughs> I'll angle it like this. <laughs> Hidden face. <laughs> so thank you so much for being here, everyone. It's so nice to see you all here. 
Um, hopefully you've learnt some tips, some tricks. Um, maybe it's helped you to just be a little bit more confident and not be afraid of the times where you make mistakes and you stick things upside down. <laughs> when you stamp your sentiment upside down and you just own it. Just go, oh, well, that's okay. We'll get my scam out and we'll do it again. <laughs> it's not the end of the world. Trust me, I've done it plenty of times and will do it plenty of times again. Normally it's me sticking something upside down. So, But thank you so much for being here. I hope that we can take you out of your situation, give you some positivity, think about others, think about who you're going to send your cards to. Can you do a big stack of these cards? Please feel free to case us. Like Do the exact same thing. Use the exact same materials. You don't have to ask our permission. It's why we put all these videos out there so that it can give you inspiration and ideas and so that you can send your cards to all your beautiful friends and family or maybe even some strangers. Do some random act of kindness in your street and go deliver some letters to your neighbours. Like how, how long has it been since we've done that to our neighbours? In fact, I'm going to write that down. I'm do, going to do that for my neighbours. To say I'm one of your neighbours in your street and I just I was thinking of you and if you need anything here's my number. I think that would be nice. We need to bring the bring the community together, bring people together, and card making is just absolutely the best, best way we can do that. It's some there's something special about a handmade card. It comes with a big, big heart, it comes with love and it's really, really it's a gift. So Go and use your gift for good and uh, spread some love. And I'm telling you, you will feel so good. You feel so like uplifted, even if you don't hear from that person. Just remember, people are going through really difficult times. So if you don't hear from them, maybe they are absolutely the perfect person that you could have sent a card to because they're going through such a difficult time that they can't even reply to you. So don't get discouraged, just keep going. Keep going no matter what and then eventually you might find out exactly what happened to that person and why they couldn't reply when they did and that your card made a major difference in their uh, situation. So keep sending, keep showing love, use your gift and we appreciate you all very, very much and thank you for your support and we shall see you sometime next week. <laughs> I'll definitely be here the same time next week though but there could be another one you never know around here <laughs> bye everyone thanks for being here bye